Are you working on an engineering, procurement, and construction project? Then it's really time to talk about this. It's time to talk about advanced work packaging, a process that will enable all stakeholders to achieve optimal project results by aligning resources and processes on an EPC project. Quite simply, advanced work packaging is all about getting the right stuff to the right people at the right time. Advanced work packaging, the essence of it is really aligning uh, engineering and procurement work uh, to support construction. So it's, it's, it's starting at the end, um, the construction, how are we going to sequence the work, how are we actually going to execute the work, and then backing up from there in order to make sure that the engineering work and the procurement work are done in alignment so as to enable that path of construction. The objective is to ensure project teams improve productivity, increase predictability, while mitigating their project risk. Sounds like a simple concept, right? Increasing project predictability really begins imagining and defining the end state. The project plan is developed from how it will turn over to operations, which in turn defines the construction sequencing announced as a best practice by the Construction Industry Institute back in 2015. Advanced work packaging aligns all planning disciplines to help drive execution efficiency. Detailed work packages are created early in the project life cycle. The building blocks include engineering, procurement, and construction work packaging, all the way to the work phase daily execution steps otherwise known as installation work packages. Advanced work packaging uh, is, is really a framework for uh, managing the workflows around work packaging. So that might be engineering work, it might be procurement work, it might be construction work, um, but AWP gives us a standardized framework uh, through which we can process and coordinate and align all of that activity and the ultimate goal of all of that is to create a very smooth and efficient path of construction so that ultimately the, the, the crews in the field can work unconstrained. They've got what they need to accomplish the work. So when they get issued a work package, the engineering's done, there's no issues, we have the materials that we need, we have the components that we need, um, and that work can proceed you know, without, uh, without issue. So it's making sure that it's kind of like a, a, we have this concept of a bottoms up approach in estimating. Um, AWP is, is, is really a bottoms-up approach to construction execution where we're starting with the most detail. How are we going to uh, actually approach the work? What's the logical um, um, path of construction? And then backing up from there into creating those chunks of engineering work and procurement work so that, uh, that uh, those constraints are, are done before we issue the work out to the field to go execute. The benefits of tapping into this are vast. We see improved safety, reduced cost, improved project predictability, better alignment, and improved upfront planning, just to name a few. In fact, the Construction Industry Institute says some projects have reported up to a 25% reduction in schedule, and they even saw improvements of four to 10% in total installed cost. Basically, it can improve project delivery, effectiveness, and predictability. Well, I think there's a, there's a ton of benefits to advanced work packaging. Um, we can categorize those, I think, in a few different areas. Uh, maybe first would be collaboration. So the different stakeholders on the project, you get the owner, engineer, contractor, uh, any or all of them might be involved in procurement. So uh, coordinating and collaborating around all of that activity using a common approach, a common process, common terminology, um, advanced work packaging provides that, so it's kind of the glue that, that keeps all of those uh, stakeholders working seamlessly together. But there's also just a ton of benefit around, uh, ultimately, the execution of the work. So the whole goal of AWP is to make sure that the crews can go execute their work without any constraints, right? without dependencies that have not been fulfilled. So they're not waiting on engineering, they're not waiting on procurement, they can go uh, and execute the work unrestrained. And that translates into shorter durations, uh, better schedule um, fulfillment. It also translates into lower overall costs, lower labor costs, and lower overall costs of the project due to 
you've got less, uh, um, higher productivity means less uh, wasted cost, um, less rework, and, and all of that ultimately translates into lower cost of the project. Where should you start? Well, fortunately, with AWP, there's a huge body of work out there um, for anybody that's not familiar with AWP to go learn more about it, whether that's from uh, case studies, whether that's through industry organizations like CII. Um, there's, there's a lot of places to go learn about AWP. And I think what most people will find if you're not currently familiar with AWP is you'll find that, it, that the approach probably reflects uh, the approach that you currently take to the work it's very much a best practices and intuitive approach, uh, but like I said, it, it, it puts a standardized process around that and some rigor and some specific terminology so that everybody is familiar with it and you can standardize on it. Often increasing project productivity begins by imagining and defining the end state. Then it helps align resources and processes. AWP, I would say, is, is spreading. So you know, I think it started really, we saw it early in the oil and gas industry, uh, or it's still very prevalent there, not only in, you know, CapEx projects, but also large maintenance projects, shutdowns, turnarounds even. Um, so it's very strong in oil and gas, but what we've seen over the last probably five years is uh, an em embracing of that AWP process in other industries, whether that's vertical building or infrastructure. The adoption of, of AWP, I think, is going to come from two directions. So uh, I think we'll continue to see owners in all types of industries uh, look to embrace AWP um, a as a way to get that predictability on their projects, to, to lower the overall cost, um, and to, to create that efficiency that they're looking for in the projects. Um, but I think you'll also see it uh, coming from another angle, and that's from uh, contractors uh, even if they're not being required to do it on a particular project, uh, we see contractors adopting that AWP process as a competitive advantage and as a recruiting advantage. Project success is defined as discovering the best way to use people, process, and technology. Today, virtual teams and digital tools are embracing the science and the art of developing CapEx project schedules to increase predictability. One of the ways this is achieved is through advanced work packaging. Do you see advanced work packaging putting you on the road to success for your company? Thanks for watching Construct Tech TV, fierce advocates for construction. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.